ready, I think. Okay, that's decent enough. Whatever I can do to help. Alright, oh, and this is, uh... Yeah, we're actually curving back around now. So... Yeah, Copper Coronet. This is the place. Okay. We've heard of this. Let's save here and go inside. Hopefully the people inside the inn will be as nasty as those outside. Oh. Just name what you want. So does Senny. Something you need. Well, I guess Garrett is going to schmooze it up around here. I've seen just about enough of you. Is there something I can help you with, sir? I guess trying to be friendly. Greetings, ma'am. What brings you to the Copper Coronet? If you must know, I am passing the time before my meeting with my employer. If you don't mind, I have much to think over, and I would appreciate some solitude. If you're looking for entertainment, perhaps you should inquire with a barkeep. Hmm. I wouldn't dream of refusing. Strangers, perhaps you have more courage than the worms that frequent this pit of corruption. I am Anoman, warrior priest of Helm. What is your name? I am Carrot the Ray. It's a pleasure to meet you, Anoman. Well met. Speak then. Is your heart filled with courage, or be it steeped in cowardice? Or do we always present uh, people we meet with false dichotomies? What would Carrot say? <laughs> well, uh, when there's cause for courage, I uh, I can be courageous when I need to be. I trust that your accounting is true. Tell me then, Carrot, be you a force of evil or good? Um, well, I really don't like to brag about this kind of thing, but I suppose we try to do the right thing. Perchance I have found worthy companions. I seek to be knighted in the most noble order of the Radiant Heart. I must prove my worth first. Have you need of a strong sword, my lord? Well, okay, this guy is actually offering his services. He looks to be a knight of some kind. Um, do we really need one? Oh, I really wouldn't say so. So, regret regretfully, I must decline your offer, but uh, we'll keep it in mind in case we do need someone like you. Soviet, you seek to right the wrongs of this blighted land, and I am the man you should speak to. I think I shall still be here searching in vain for adventurers of merit. Bouncer. Is anyone willing to hear my plea? Anyone? You all know me. I've helped some of you. Is this the thanks I get? I've helped lots of your kind. Um, you! Are you for hire? As a mercenary, I mean? You look capable and hardy, like you've had formal training. Um, Carrot, thinking about this, would probably say, you know what, I might be able to help you. But I need to gather a lot of a large amount of coin actually to rescue a friend. So I'd be interested in knowing what you would offer as payment. You don't even know what I want, but you wish to know the payment. I will reward you, but we must hurry. I cannot guarantee it. My land is looted. Will you help? say. I don't know why it gives you the option of two. She doesn't say anyone of a lesser station in this statement. Hmm. Well, I suppose we can help, but we need to know exactly what's going on. Who would we be fighting and why? There's no time. I only hope that the attackers have not made it inside. If they have, if they have breached the inner courtyard, they will be hard to rout. I will tell you what secrets I can. Perhaps you will be able to sneak in and attack from a more vulnerable spot. I hope Father is alright. He would not leave. Should I travel with you? I've spent a few weeks slumming, and I'm quite capable of opening the old odd lock. I had to pick three just to get out of the main keep. Auntie doesn't like me leaving at night. 
And how else can I donate to the poor and not be noticed? They have pride too. And I really shouldn't be seen with them. Huh. Alright, so apparently uh, they're helping out this Nalia here. I suppose we could provide a helping hand. And uh, considering she's talking about lambs and a keep, she probably comes from a wealthy family by the way she's acting. Maybe they could reward us. So you can travel on the party with us. I'm, I'm sure you'd be a useful addition. Wonderful! Do you help people often? I've often wanted to get away from the keep and Annie's rules. She doesn't understand that I just want to help people. Shira says you speak as if unaware of class distinction, and yet your manner exudes it. A sign of immaturity. Perhaps adventuring is not the place for you. Here. I'll mark the location on your map. We should head there immediately. Be careful not to be spotted. I hope everything is alright. Alright, uh, I will do as you agreed, but you should know. My ultimate goal is to rescue an old friend of mine, above and beyond anything else. An old friend? Who's that? Her name is Imowen, and she's been taken prisoner by the Cowed Wizards. And I'm not about to leave her at their mercy. She needs help? Then of course I'm willing to help you find her if you want me to. But we have to take care of my family situation first, that's all I ask. And, uh... She gives us 45 oh, gold. Yes. And uh, apparently Nalia joins the party. She is a dual class mage thief. Very little experience as a thief. Because she's a human, she's dual class, but she's actually a pretty capable mage by the looks of it. A lot of magic power in our party, and yet we don't have a license to actually use any of it. Strength, mirror image, web. Hold person, lightning bolt, slow. Stone skin, and uh, I think that's Polymorph Self, yeah. And Dimension Door. She even knows a couple level 6 spells she can't cast yet. Interesting. Okay then. Just as I thought. Well, I guess we'll probably be helping her out soon, but before we just jump right in on that, let's look around the tavern a bit. Onward, then. You! Have you seen my husband? I know he's in here somewhere! Uh, I don't think we have the time to talk about such a matter. I'll find him eventually. I swear I'll find him. Wow. Let's stay well away from that situation. What's upstairs? Oh, another bouncer. Nobody wants us to look around here. Let's see. Who else? Commoners. A dwarf over there. I don't like cities much. They're built on the backs of the unfortunate. There's a pretty uh, interesting looking guy over here. You there. I would have a word with you. I am called Lord Jed and Firecrack, and I bid you stand a moment and hear what I offer. Word has come to me of your actions. I see you as capable and headstrong, with the ability to handle what hair is thrown at you. Just the type of creature that I am looking for. Your flattery is not needed. I'll listen to what you have to say. Certainly you understand that these are dangerous times and that extreme measures are often called for. That is why I have need of you. I am lord of a community outside of Katla, and while I provide for my people as best that I can, there are times I things I some things I cannot do. Battle is not my strong point. There are marauders, horrid ogres and trolls that must be destroyed with fire or they regenerate. I need a firm hand to push them back. I need you, Carrot. I offer a grand sum worthy of a man of your stature. I offer 10,000 gold. You can free my land of this scourge. It is a fortune, you will agree. 10,000? That's an astounding sum for simple monster hunting. It is a small price for safety. It is not as though I am without funds. I merely believe in paying for quality. You will leave wealthy in my service, rest assured. You are the choice I make, and the offer stands wherever you go now or not. There is no other decision that makes sense. I have no doubt your service will be exemplary. If all goes well, we shall all receive exactly what we deserve. My lands are on your map. The Windspear's Hills await. 
Oh, to take swords against monsters of great evil. Already I feel too wriggling in excited anticipation. Hmm. Are you sure you're talking about your rune there, Minsk? Not a heart attack. I've seen you get pretty excited after all. Of course it is Boo, who is always happy when opportunities for heroism come. We shall crush these ogres and rangers and hamsters everywhere and shall rejoice! Well, I've heard of this Lord Geod in Carid Lorray, if it's any help. He has the coin to back up his offer. He's not reputed to be the gnosis noble and ominous, but then who is? I think it would be an excellent idea to get outside of the city and administer justice on such evil creatures. Tyranny is best matched with equal force, Mr. Jahira. What are you saying? I, I don't know, Jahira. I've heard about this Lord Jirden. He's brutal. It's not like him to be so protective of his people. I don't like the sound of this. Things are going well for us. Yes. We will serve the greater it's battle. a dangerous path, but we manage well for ourselves. So another opportunity for the party. Anyone else in here worth talking to? A couple of people over here. Only a guy named Surly. Uh, what you want? What is it, Dad? Surly's in no mood for Charles today. Come back tomorrow. Who are you, and what is this place over here? I'm Surly, and I manage the pit. No one else. Now beat it, for I kick your arse out of here. Pit? You mean this is some sort of fighting contest? This can't be legal. You fight. It's in the pit. Old game blow a match. Buy a dog. Fights one of mine. Yours wins double your coin. The loses I get your bet. That's a match, see? That sounds horrid. Why would you do such a thing? I ain't got time for tree hugging pansies waiting their sheets over a legitimate enterprise. Get lost. I can break an arm or a leg for mm. a couple or two. We don't approve of that. Who's this Corgan guy? Drink hail, wassail for all. I be curious, friends. I'm scouring for a band of desperate men to aid me in a gallant task. He look like. Let me try Corgan. It's pretty. A lot of bravado, that voice. He looked like he could keep on to take his in a brisk. No, that's too Australian. You look like you could. Mm. I'll get it. I'll get it. Hold on. Ah, you look like you could keep undertakers in a brisk trade. Have you courage and time for a tale? We'll listen to your tale. Billy up, comrades, and let Corgan flail the bladder for a spell. A fortnight passed, me fellows and I were in the midst of obtaining an ancient text for our patron when a skirmish visited our miss. Final words, alas, became a lake of bloodshed. So it goes, the sacred Gamor ne'er made it to our benefactor's hand, and now he awaits its arrival with his eel reserved for a grog blossom and an ale cake. The scuttle but the pay is handsome and worthy of note, sacks of loot and odd magics. Volumes, it's not far from ear, and the bibliomaniac he paces the floor in the meantime. Who is this book collector? Why is his interest in this particular time worn novel or manual? Pimlico collects books just for the pleasure of collecting. Arcane, bizarre, peculiar, it matters not. Upon hearing of a curious map, charred or bookies traveled countless leagues to obtain it, fearful of entrusting his commission to anyone else. This were here is first outside hire. As for the book itself, it nay matters to me what lays twixt its skins. I'll not risk knowing I bled for Elminster memories or a drizzit lob lolly recipe. It is called the Book of Kazat. Well, where is this book then, Corgan? It's some hard nails tomb over in the lower crypts of the grave district. It's nay abandoned, but rumors and half truths only scare the young and infirm. Keep the curious away, me kiss. Is there something we should know about this tomb? Well, it'll take far more than a shamblin' bags of skin and stitches to deter Corrigan blood axe from a king's ransom. A foolhardy jaunt into a hive of undead. How could you resist? Well, come to think of it, we've already taken on quite a few tasks, but Carrot would say this is actually pretty interesting. He doesn't like collecting rare books. 
and he definitely has no problems uh, killing undead. So, we have no time at present, but we may soon. Fine then, bowel hives. I'll be stirring dirt in the, lo in the laboratory if you change your midland minds. And about the tavern, should ye ponder further. Stand back, or you'll regret it! Oh, look at the dolly boy, all sacked up like an adventurer. Are oh, you supposed to be tough as something, are I? I'm not here to impress you, sir. Hurl your insults elsewhere. Oh, sir, is it? Oh, I was right, you're a bleeding coward. Admit it. I'll admit to nothing, and I refuse to continue this sparring with you. Poor baby, poor little boy. Gonna run home to your mother, I. Oh, yes, you're a scary one, oh. Please stop this rudeness, sir. I've had just about as much as I can take. And it loops back to this. Please leave me alone. I've had enough of this nonsense. Please leave me alone. Oh, what's the matter, Roy? Am I scaring you down to your little booties, Roy? Your barbs have no effect on me. I asked you to leave me alone, and I meant it. Yeah, yeah. A blatant coward amongst us. Oh, very well, coward. Be on your way. Come back when you're ready to face a real man. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, I come back when you're ready to face a real man, fancy boy. Oh, you know it, I'm lost. You knows it. Mint saying, you insult Garrett Larray, and you insult Minsk. There will be a liberal butt kicking now. Uh oh, Minsk is taking matters into his own hands. Oh dear. Of course. All right. Go in there. All right. Go okay, Minsk kind Let's of go. dragging us into a big swirling fight. Right behind. Sticking up for Carrot. He kind of blew up there, didn't he? Well, he was a range All right, you and me. All right, let's go with me. Let's go. These guys are pretty tough. You are no match. I got the looks of this. How glad to be a assist. Careful, everybody. Ooh, what a mess. Very well. Stand back. For justice. Whatever I can do to help. Well, Mince, we were kinda hoping to avoid getting into a deadly bar fight. Just name what you want. I mean battle bo run bo run! We do appreciate you sticking up for us, but that of was course. that really wasn't necessary. And now that guy is dead. Once. This land is fine, but I wish I could show Boo the fields of Rashima. We could run free through the snow. Although uh, Boo would look some kind of funny in the drift, I tell you this. <laughs> you are from Rashima? 